Hello stampers. I'm here today to show you how to make this gorgeous double Z fold card using Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. This card was inspired by Elaine's Creations. I have all of my images cut out and ready to color. These Chick images are being colored with Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils. I'm going to just scribble on the color and then I'm going to go over it with a blending, a blender pen. The blender pen takes the color and makes it look more watercolored. It um, makes it look more vibrant. The colors I'm using here are Real Red for the comb, Pumpkin Pie for the beaks and feet. I use Pacific Point for the hair on the, the wild chick there. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight on the eggs. And I'm also going to use Rich Razzleberry and early espresso. This coloring is very easy. There's no artistic talent needed. All you need to do is put on some color and use the blender pen. Now I'm starting with the blender pen and it's as simple as just scribbling it over the colored images to spread the color. Our Stampin' Blends would be another way to color these chickens, but this way is much quicker and simpler. Okay, now we're getting down to the double Z fold card. I'm bringing in some crumb cake cardstock. It's just a half a sheet. We're gonna score it at two and a half, or wait, two and three quarters and five and a half. And this little strip gets scored the same way. I make a mistake here and score it at two and a half and two and three quarters, but it isn't going to cause us any trouble. I'm 
then the card fold is very simple. You end up, if you fold the card in half and fold the front half back, that is all you need to do. And you score the little strip in the same way. The only difference here is that when we put it on the card, we turned it around. When that is glued together, the glue will just go on the outside ends. And before we put it together, I'm putting some chicken wire die cuts on it. The chicken wire die cuts fit perfectly in the sections that we have folded for the card. This chicken wire was cut with out of basic gray and I cut it with double-sided adhesive on the back so they become a sticker and makes it much easier to put down. Okay, then the, some more of our card pieces. This is just a small three inch piece of garden green and a basic layer there of balmy blue. And we're going to um, emboss them to give them some texture. They will be the sky and like the grass on our card. The first piece goes down just the way it is at five and a quarter by four. It has just a small border around it. And then the other piece of blue we need to cut down to fill or to fit in the other folded spots. So there are two and a half by four which gives us just a little piece that we cut off. We do the same thing here with the green. We cut down this first piece to five and a quarter so it fits right over the blue and then we cut two pieces that are two and a half inches each off of the other piece and then we layer those on top of the blue piece. Now we're ready to put on that strip that does all the work and we put glue on this end and glue it down right at the bottom of our card base. And I sure wish my camera skills were better, but I ended up putting glue just on the first section, the two and three quarter inch section there and laid that over the top. So it's just glue on the first section and the last small section. And now comes the fun part. I'm bringing in all my die cuts and we're gonna decorate the card. I'm starting with the chicken coop I had cut it out of red and another one out of early espresso and I cut the roof section and the door off of the early espresso one and then we're putting them over the top of the red one 
to give us a different color roof. And most of the rest of this um, video is figuring out where I want the pieces and um, if I want the pieces and gluing them down. There's a lot of pieces. It's a little fiddly, but I had a lot of fun making this card. It's gonna have to be sent to somebody very special. I do a very poor job of staying within the scope of my camera. I apologize for that, but hopefully you can see most of the parts that matter. This style of card can be used with a lot of other stamp sets. Um, it makes very pretty garden type cards. We probably should have put one of our darling donkeys in here somewhere. He Surely there's donkeys on this farm with all the chicks. When you cut out the dies, this set of dies comes with, what, three or four ears of corn? see it's four ears of corn and four of the the husk pieces so that makes them quicker to cut out When you make this style of card, you also need to keep opening and closing it to see how things overlap. And um, and what shows when it's closed as well as what shows when it's open. Here's the part that I wish I would have filmed without, if, if I could have just stayed in the camera view, 
That is a four inch strip of cardstock. I think it's three quarters of an inch wide and scored at every inch. And it's gonna be stuck in that, that open part as a pop-up. The, the parts with glue were one on each end and one gets glued to the card base and one gets glued to the strip. And then when you fold that, it goes flat. And when you open it, it pops up so that I could put a, a another chicken back there. There's a good view of what it looks like it, when you have it in. The hard part about this card is knowing when you're done putting stuff on there. There's so many die cuts in these sets that it's almost endless on what you can all do. I decided that little chicken needed a bow tie and that bow tie is a die cut that comes with this set. You also get the die cut that says happy birthday. And I don't show putting it on, but I ended up putting a sign on the front of the card. And everything here comes with the Hey Chick, and the Hey Birthday Chick. There you can see the sign on the front of the card. I hope you give this a try.